I've been using 256 gigabytes Mac computers for years now. For some reason, those budget-friendly base models always fit my needs. In this video, I will talk about why I always choose 256 models based on how I use my computers. First, Apple's internal storage upgrades are very expensive. Let's use the M4 Mac Mini as an example. Upgrading from 256 to 512 costs an extra $200. But for that same $200, I can buy a 2TB external SSD that I can use right out of the box. If you already have an SSD enclosure, you can even save more money. While Apple's building storage is fast and convenient, I think for most users, spending a lot less money for a lot larger storage is definitely more appealing. The second reason is that I always switch between different devices throughout the day. For example, during the day, I might be at the office using my work computer. When I get home, I'm on my personal computer. A lot of time, I'm also using my iPad for entertainment and some productivity work. I don't want to put all my files on a single device because then I cannot access them from other computers. What I like to do is to put all my personal files on a portable SSD and bring it with me. No matter where I am or which device I'm using, I can simply plug in my portable SSD and then I have everything I need. The third reason is that I tend to upgrade my computer relatively often, probably once a year or two. I do this because I've realized Apple's trade-in deals for Macs are actually very good. I notice I don't lose that much money by trading in the last generation Mac for a new one. I also notice that the base models always hold their value the most. In that case, the 256 model seems like a great choice. Since I upgrade kind of often, organizing and transferring files is very time-consuming and not fun. But now everything is on my external SSD. I don't need to transfer anything. I just plug my SSD into the new computer and I'm good to go. Next, I want to talk about how I actually use my 256 gigabyte Mac. I don't put any personal files on the internal storage. It's only for installing software and for holding app cache. I have all the necessary software I need installed on my Mac, including productivity apps like Microsoft Office and Apple iWork, as well as creative tools like DaVinci Resolve, Pixelmator Pro, and so on. As you can see from my current storage usage, even after installing everything and accounting for the macOS itself, I only use 30% of the 256 internal storage. So there's still plenty of room for safety and future use. Then I have multiple external SSDs for different uses. This is the Samsung T5 portable SSD. It's an old model that has been with me for many years. I use it for my personal files, like my macOS photos library, movies, music, personal documents, and important software and tools that I always need to install. This is the drive I use most often, so I always have it plugged in. A lot of time when I'm on the go, I also take this SSD with me to get access to all my files. This is another portable SSD of mine, the Samsung T9. This is mainly for my video projects. I use it to store raw footage and different kinds of assets. I also use it as a working drive to edit and export videos directly from it. So every time I work on a video, I just have this plugged into my computer and do everything on there. I'm currently using my M4 Mac Mini, so I just leave my drives like this. But if you use a MacBook, you can actually purchase an SSD pouch and attach it to the lid of your laptop. That way, you can always have a portable SSD plugged in and save some desk space. Honestly, though, I've always wanted to make my external SSD situation a little bit better. 
Recently, I'm trying something new. This is the Oracle Minimate External SSD, which Oracle sent to me for review. I feel like this is a form factor that a lot of Mac Mini users are interested in. It has the same size as the M4 Mac Mini itself, so I can just put it on top of my computer. Actually, you can use it with MacBooks, iMacs, iPads, or even phones. It connects with a single USB-C cable, and it doesn't require any additional power source. It supports Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 with 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth. And here are the read and write speeds I get from the drive itself. It has a faster write speed than my 256 Mac Mini. It's also a nice upgrade from my Samsung T9. It has a built-in cooling system, so the SSD never gets hot. However, I have to mention that the fan runs constantly when the drive is plugged in, and the fan noise is definitely noticeable. If you work in an office with many people, you might not be bothered by the noise. But if you work by yourself in a very quiet environment, you might not be used to the fan noise from this drive. So that's something to consider. I work in a quiet environment, and after using it for a couple of weeks, I feel like the fan noise is a little bit too noticeable to my liking. But if you are in love with this form factor, and you don't really worry about the fan noise, you might still be happy with this Minimate. If a quiet environment is more important to you, I feel like a fanless portable SSD still works perfectly. In this video, I've been focusing on external SSDs that work right out of the box. If you enjoy doing it yourself and don't mind spending some time researching, buying an NVMe SSD and an SSD enclosure is also a great option. This way, you can take full advantage of Thunderbolt 4 and achieve even higher transfer speeds. However, if you prefer a simple all-in-one solution, branded portable SSDs are still excellent choices. By the way, you can check out all the SSDs I've mentioned today in the description. In the end, I want to say that the choices I talk about in this video are based on my personal habits. If you feel like you are in a similar situation, I believe a 256 gigabyte Mac will work perfectly for you. All right, that's all for today's video. I want to know how much storage do you have on your Mac and what's your experience like with it? Let us know in the comments. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more tech-related content, be sure to subscribe. Now, check out some other videos of mine. I'm sure you will be interested as well. Have a nice day.